hello everyone it's camille welcome back to my channel thank you so much for being here today is the day for another grand collaboration with 19 amazing artists three epic days guys um today is the last day um in this parade and i'm just so happy to be a part of this grand uh collaboration you guys you know um it's such an amazing um thing to be a part of this great group you know 19 amazing artists and it was all put together by cindy cynthia porter from cynthia porter studios guys she arranged this beautiful collaboration and i want to give her a big shout out i want to give a big shout out to holly from the morning pour for putting together the trailer you know so i want to give shout out to those guys and of course my beautiful friend donna oh my gosh i love you donna you know if it wasn't for you as well you know you help to keep this um collaboration together you help to um keep us all intact and keep updating us and all that and i'm really grateful so thank you donna and of course guys i will be listing all the participants name in the description box below so you can always go ahead and check out their premieres guys and um, if you've missed it go ahead in the description box below and find their names and their channel names and of course watch their videos like it subscribe all the fun work you know this is what helps to keep our channel to grow and we do want to reach more people so of course do go ahead and check out all their videos and give it a thumbs up like subscribe the whole fun work for this collaboration we were given a set of rules we had to use green purple gold i did mix my gold with some yellow because i wanted my gold to really stand out for this piece and um we can use whatever background with a white or black and of course some blings okay so we have to bling it on so do watch this video all the way to the end where you will see me you know of course blinging it on you know and of course you know guys i'm doing all of this piece here using my spoon to swipe the flowers and of course you had seen me swiping the leaves earlier with the spoon as well okay the spoon swab technique is it's very um i would say it's not as challenging as it look you know do give it a try if you find it interested or you know just go ahead and um give it a try and of course when you're swiping with the spoon do wipe your spoon clean each time before you swipe again okay so a clean spoon is needed each time okay guys so just wipe it clean with a napkin in today's video i'm actually using a mini spoon a mini appetizer spoon to swipe these um petals and i also did use because right now i'm using a the regular size spoon to make some bigger um dahlias you know so it's just to give some variation of flowers different sizes different shapes and of course when you see me um pulling the inner part of the petals in towards the middle i'm just giving it a bit of a definition i use the back of the skewer to do that okay and of course the more layers you can add to each dahlia it will give it that 3d effect okay so i do hope that you guys um, are having fun with your dahlia your spoon swap dahlias out there and i'm really grateful that you are here and that you're able to um watch this process i was so happy when cindy from cynthia porter studio reached out to me for another collaboration because you know the colors that was chosen guys the purple the green and the gold i was like what this is like my favorite colors okay as you know me i love my purple and i do adore yellow yellow is my all-time favorite color love yellow so bright i do love my bright colors i'm i just can't help it guys i love my bright colors so doing this technique doing this collaboration was just you know a win-win for me in terms of the colors that was given and um yeah it's just a beautiful color combination 
you know you can't go wrong with these three color combination what do you guys think let me know what you think about the color combination in the comment section below and of course i will be listing all the colors i'm using in the description box below as well so if you guys want you can go ahead and check out how the colors i'm using actually um in the description box below and of course how i mix my paint will be listed as well um, so you guys can always go ahead and do check that out thanks oftentimes you will see me dipping my finger trying to get up some of that base color from the canvas because you know what guys if you have too much paint on the canvas when you do swipe you know you will leave the too much paint uh, remaining on the canvas and then it will distort the shape of your flowers so I always um, you know either you put a, not too much paint whenever you're layering for your colors don't put too much because at the end of the day when you keep adding colors that base color will just keep pooling in the middle you know so that's why I I get into the habit now of just you know using my finger you can use a napkin too you don't have to you know use your finger you can use a napkin but just do it as clean as you can just you know take up some of that um, extra paint that you have on the canvas um, but it's up to you you know I, I just want to keep my flowers looking good up to even when it's dry so I keep you know practicing that making the habit for me um, because I want the flowers to remain just as beautiful in the same shape and design um, for the dried results so it's just a habit that I have developed guys so you guys can always give it a try thanks and of course guys you know what this is the fluid art this is a, an acrylic pour technique and you know like I always say this guys just have fun with it you know it's abstract art it doesn't have to look as realistic I know I do get a lot of um, you know um, <laughs> criticism it could be bad or good and I do know that people will say oh you know I did one where the, the petals the stems didn't look as good but people have to remember that I'm not using a paintbrush okay and I'm just pouring paint okay and I'm just swiping with a spoon and you know I just want to share my experience too with people so you guys have to remember don't try to go don't try to be perfect I want you to have fun okay and don't take fun away from art because I do love my art and I do want you to love your art okay these are amazing artists that I'm working with today and you will see different pores okay we're not all doing the same techniques and um, and it's good that we can share this and share our experience and just, just um, share our own abilities guys this is what it is we're not measuring up with nobody and I'm so happy I'm always happy to be a part of collaborations because I want because you know what guys we all do things differently I want you to remember that and I do hope that you my viewers will check it out and we'll check out everybody that's doing their course and see for yourself that oh my god these guys are so talented they're so different in their work and you know we're expressing ourselves um, through our work guys so you, I want you to remember that and we do love you and we do appreciate every single one of you all right guys so do take pride in your work okay and do love your work and do be patient with yourself I just I can't stress that enough and um, I just went all out in this piece because I know that in the US and you know people who are celebrated Mardi Gras all over the world that I do know that they're decorating their house with flowers this is why I choose flowers um, and do know that they're decorating their home with flowers and they do um, you know going out there and having fun with their friends and dressing up and all of that too that's what Mardi Gras is all about right it's all about the festive um, eating and just going all out so this for me was um, just a part of the decoration of the home and you know garden whoever have stuff flowers in their gardens and you know so I just want to share this part with you and yes um, this video I had to speed it up because it's a part of the requirement that the video should not be over 15 minutes and I um, had to speed it up 
but this is a long process and it did take me over an hour and a half to do this pour. and of course guys it comes with practice you know and uh yeah this is all i just want to wrap it up and let you guys know that it was so fun to be here today and to be a part of these amazing artists that's taking part in the mardi gras pour it bling it on and it was just so much fun all right so here i'm using marty stewart glitter this beautiful green and i'm spreading it with my popsicle stick because you know the, the you can use your your paintbrush to do this part but i just want to do it as quickly as i can and i did add some layers after it was dry so this is just my first layer that I'm, I'm showing you guys right now and i did go ahead and use my my um, paintbrush to get into the tight corners that the popsicle stick was being a little bit more challenging so here i was just using the paintbrush to spread the glitter guys this glitter is just stunning wait until you see the dried result which is right now check it out guys what are you thinking let me know what you think in the comment box below i do love it i love how it's blinging there is no finish there's no varnish or resin on this as yet i just want to show you the natural colors my flash is picking it up and my flash will be picking up the bling from that glitter i love it thank you cindy from cindy porter studios for reaching out to me it was a fun collaboration guys go ahead and check out the next participant coming up right now and i do hope you guys give this video a thumbs up and i will see you next time on camila moy art bye